Okay, as you can see, I have two volume sliders for two microphones, two USB microphones. It doesn't say here, but this is the Rode. And on the right we have the Arosi Colonna, this one, uh, Rode over here. So the question is, how did I manage to have two volume controls, two Windows microphone input volume controls at the same time? Well, I used a different application because Windows makes it impossible to do this on its own. So let me just roll back. In the system tray we have the sound icon. If you right click it and go to sound settings, this pops up. And in the section for the uh, input, you can go to device properties and here you can control the volume of one of the devices. Okay, let's rename this just to make it clearer later. The second interface I got using Ear Trumpet. Ear Trumpet is a free tool. You can get it from the Windows Store. That's one way. Or, for some reason, there's a complicated way where you have to first install Chocolaté, which is a package manager, which I guess you install by clicking Start and typing in PowerShell and then select Run as Administrator. Yes. And then you would have to run this command, uh, which you just cop, command cop, copy, and control V and enter and wait, wait a few seconds. And if you then type in Choco, it should have worked. Okay, so let me just type in Choco. It works, but I already had it. You might have to restart this uh, interface. Okay, and once you have done that, you have to uh, use this command, Choco install ear trumpet. Control C, Control V. Uh, what does it tell me? Already installed. Well, in my case, it's already installed. In your case, it should install. And then it should run immediately, I guess. Or you can just press start and type in ear trumpet. And there it is, already running. All right, so once ear trumpet is running, just right click ear trumpet. And in Windows Legacy, you have access to recording devices. This interface, oh, I miss this interface so much. Where did you go? Actually, you know what? You can just click start and type in control panel. And then there is the control panel. And in here you have sound. It takes a while, but after you click sound, this window appears and then you go to the recording tab. And that's all you need to get to this, actually. So if you want, you can skip the ear trumpet thing, but ear trumpet is kind of cool as well. Decide which is your primary microphone. Uh, for me, the Rode is the primary and Arosi is the secondary. So first switch here to the secondary, then double click the secondary here. And now switch this to the primary, because then this green icon will just be on the primary only, which makes me just feel calmer. I don't know if this is important, but it's less confusing that way. And now you can click device properties, and now we have one volume slider uh, here for the uh, secondary, for the Arosi, and one for the primary, the Rode. So that should have helped a lot. And now you can control the volume of both of these microphones. Test, 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 test. And let me just do that. Come on. Let me do that again. Test, 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 test. So you could have seen here the sliders reacted differently. Both sliders work live. And this is how you trick Windows into giving you access to controls that it should give access to you anyways. What a mess, but it works. Glad to have helped. Let me know in the comments if this saved your day. Let me know if you know a better solution. Oh, please do let me know because this is such a hacky solution and so cumbersome. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more crazy solutions like that in the future. Ciao!